On a bone-chilling November morning near the Delaware seashore, massive cannons and catapults are being assembled as if the nation was preparing for battle. Fire in the hole, fire in the hole. But this arsenal won't be used to combat enemy raiders or for historic war reenactments. These weapons are being made exclusively for throwing pumpkins. Well, this is the Second Amendment, and this is absolutely the baddest parking gun on the planet. The Pumpkin Chunkin' Festival was started 20 years ago near Millsboro, Delaware, with three slingshot-style machines shooting pumpkins in someone's backyard. Little did the founders know that this first event would inspire a veritable arms race. Today, 100 teams are stationed on the front line, preparing to see how far their self-designed weapons can launch a pumpkin across a 280-acre cornfield. 1986, there were four guys sitting around the local blacksmith shop discussing medieval games, specifically anvil tossing. They rapidly found out that I was rough on the back and shoulders, so they decided to build a machine to throw it. Anvils were expensive, they bought pumpkins, and here we are 21 years later throwing pumpkins at the World Championship Pumpkin Junkin'. The machines range from high school physics projects made from junkyard scraps to high-tech blasters that can cost upwards of $200,000. Although explosives are forbidden across the board, many of these machines still pack quite a punch. Because of the wide variety of contraptions, the competition is divided into different classes. What we consider the big boys of the competition are the air cannons. Uh, of course, all those guys are looking for what we refer to as the mythical mile. The air cannons work by sending a rush of compressed air into the barrel, which rockets the pumpkin out the other end. These cannons can launch pumpkins over 4,000 feet, about the length of 11 football fields. And this year, current record holder Second Amendment is gunning for the mile mark at 5,280 feet. Current world record is 4,434 feet. In practice last weekend, we shot one over 5,000 feet. Another team going for gold today is Team Chucky, a team that will be competing in the torsion catapult division. Torsion catapult is what most people think of when they think of like a, an old-fashioned Roman catapult. And what it is, there's a, a bundle of rope that gets twisted and tension gets put into it, and so the rope becomes a torsion spring. And it's that tension stored in the bundle of twisted rope that makes the arm go forward. <laughs> 